Meditation is medicine for the mind. We have two kinds. In traditional medicine, they'll have medicine that's to nourish you and the medicine that's a detox. The nourishment here is the concentration. Focus the mind on one thing. Have a sense of well-being as you settle in. If you force it too much, it's like sticking a puppy's nose under the water to get it to drink. It chokes and it's not happy. Try to find a way of settling in on the breath where it feels really good. You're not putting too much weight on it. Just enough pressure to maintain contact. And then you can drink it up, up with all the water you want. Because the breath is the force of life. If you're not sure if the breath is comfortable, hold your breath for a while. Then when you can't stand it any longer, breathe in. And then notice which parts of the body seem to be especially refreshed when you breathe in. Okay, focus on those. Make sure the breath energy feels good there, that the flow of energy, whatever energy you feel there, feels good there. And that can be food for the mind. Give yourself a sense of well-being as you go through the day. That's the nourishing medicine. Then there's the detox. That's the insight or the discernment when you begin to see that you have greed, aversion, and delusion in your mind. And as long as they stay there, they're going to cause trouble. The mind's not going to be happy. It's hard to settle down when there's a lot of greed or a lot of aversion. It's hard to see things clearly when there's a lot of delusion. So you remind yourself that these things are not worth holding on to. The Buddha says, start out by just reminding yourself to abandon them if you can. And then try to see what their drawbacks are. See what their allure is. Why is it that you go for them? Why, do you, why does part of you like greed? Why does part of you like aversion? Why do you like staying in delusion? There is a part of the mind that likes that. And then see the drawbacks. Which, when you can compare the drawbacks with the allure, you begin to realize that this is not worth it. That's when you can flush it out of your system. And as with any traditional course of treatment, you have not only the nourishing medicine and also the detox, but also just a list of things that you can't eat, can't do while you're trying to recover. In this case, that's the precepts. You have to avoid breaking the precepts and also observe restraint over the senses. When you look at something, ask yourself, why am I looking? What's this going to do to my mind? When you listen, why are you listening? Who's listening? Are you listening or is greed listening? Or is fear or is jealousy? Who's doing the listening? Listen only when you're the one in charge of the listening and you know clearly that it's not going to have a bad impact on the mind. Otherwise, you take things in that make the disease flare up even though you're trying to treat it with medicine. So make sure that you have a complete course of training here, a complete course of treatment for your disease. And that way you develop a healthy mind. A healthy mind that's not causing itself any more suffering. Learn how to look after it well. <laughs>